Hey guys, I am going to be doing a full face first impressions and this is the outlook or outcome of the look. I am pretty satisfied. So if you are interested in seeing how I got this look with all this new makeup, then just keep on watching. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is my eyebrows. And I'm going to be using the BH studio pro hd brow pencil and their studio pro waterproof brow pomade and they're both in the shade ebony so let's see how this works That's one eyebrow outlined because I just like to use the pencil to outline them. My more natural days, I'll use the pencil to fill them in, but since I'm doing a first impressions and I want to use the pomade, I think that is pretty good. It's not dry, not stiff, pretty easy to work with, not too creamy where you could overdo it. So this is a thumbs up. So next, I'm going to be using the waterproof brow pomade. I'm just going to take an angled brush and I have a spoolie. So this is what my eyebrows look like filled in and I actually really like this. This is really creamy, really easy to work with and the pigmentation is definitely there. I love doing my eyebrows darker obviously because my hair is dark. So this is also a thumbs up for me. And now I'm just going to clean them up with concealer. I don't have a new concealer so I'm just going to do that off camera. So now that my eyebrows are done, I'm going to move on to the eyes. And for eyes, I'm going to be using the Studio Pro Wet to Dry Eyeshadow Palette from BH Cosmetics. It has a lot of shimmers, so we will see That's what it looks like. So this is what this shade looks like on the lid. I did have to wet it to get it to where I wanted it to be. They swatch pretty good. This is just for swatches from the palette. They swatch really nice, but you do need to wet them to get them just a lot more, you know, shimmery, foiled looking on the eyes. So I just took my Pixie Fixing Mist and wet my brush and applied it. But besides that, I really like them. So this also gets a thumbs up. So I used the MAC Prep and Prime. And for foundation, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal True Match Lumi foundation in the shade C6, which is Soft Sable. Um, I'm not really sure why I got this because I get really oily and by the sounds of it, it says Lumi, so I'm assuming Luminous, probably on the dewier side. So, I do like that it comes with a pump. It looks really nice, glass bottle. So, we are going to apply this. And I'm going to be using this beauty sponge from Shop Missé, which is pretty soft. This is what it looks like damp. It grew pretty much or expanded a decent amount. So I did two pumps on the back of my hand and it's not so thick, it's kind of runny, but we will see what it looks like on the skin. So I'm just going to put my beauty blender in it and this kind of looks too dark. So 
so far i'd say it's medium to full coverage as far as the foundation goes it's really easy to blend um the consistency is a little bit weird maybe i should have shaken it before i used it but consistency is pretty runny the shade is kind of off for me it doesn't feel like matte it doesn't have a matte finish it's kind of tacky in a way so i will keep you guys updated on the foundation so the next thing is from shop miss a it's the sun glow shimmer bronzer i'm gonna use this to bronze the bronzer has a slight shimmer to it and I can't really see a difference on my skin, so that is a thumbs down. I'm done contouring. Um, I can tell that the shimmer from the bronzer is coming through, which is pretty weird. But next, I'm going to set my face. So I just added lip gloss to prep my lips for when I do put lipstick on. I am done setting my face so next I'm going to use blush and I got a new blush to go palette from BH Cosmetics and I swatched them in my haul video so I'm going to use this shade right here and apply some blush. I'm just going to use this little bamboo brush. These are really pigmented so a little goes a long way and try to use a light hand. Okay, I'm going to try to fix that. For this blush palette, I give it a thumbs up automatically. It's very pigmented, um, but the good thing is, is that if you do apply too much, it's really easy to blend out and blend away, or you could just go on with um, a clean brush and, you know, clean it up. So this definitely gets a thumbs up. So next is probably going to be my favorite part. I'm going to be highlighting. So I got this spotlight highlight palette from bh cosmetics and it has six different highlights in it and it comes with a big mirror which i really appreciate and i'm going to highlight away so i'm going to go in with the shade dream which is this shade right here I am in love with this highlight. Okay, so for my brow bone, I'm going to go in with Ethereal, which is this pale white type of shade, and use that for my brow bone. I am absolutely in love with this palette also very pigmented so try to go in with the light hand it's always buildable this gets like five thumbs up because i absolutely love this highlighting palette can't wait to use the other shades now that i am done with the eyes i do have new lashes these are from kiss and they're in the style flirty this is what they look like so I'm just going to pop these on and let you know what I think. So this is what the lashes look like on. These are very, very big and wispy and fluttery. I feel like I'm about to fly away if I blink too much. But I like them. I might have to cut them. So for lips, I have this new Wet n Wild Color Icon Lip Liner in the shade Plumberry. And the number is 715. And 
it's just like a mauve type of shade nice very nice shade so I'm gonna use that to line my lips and then I have this Maybelline um, lipstick in the shade Midnight Merlot number 790 and this looks a lot more darker so hopefully they look good The lip liner is not too dry, nothing too spectacular. It's decent. It definitely didn't go with the lipstick that I picked. I didn't think it was going to be that dark. It looks more berry when you swatch it, but definitely more on the darker side. And the lipstick is very creamy. I absolutely love this shade. Um, if you're into dark shades, I recommend this one. And I think I'm just going to set my face with this spray and give you my final thoughts. I will be right back. So this is the final look with everything. Absolutely love the eyebrow pencil. It's very easy to work with. Also the waterproof brow pomade. Very, very good. I love the color, the pigment. It's definitely there. So both of these are definitely keepers. Um, this shimmer bronzer I did not like. It emphasized the texture underneath my contour. I did not like that. You probably could tell. I don't like that at all. It really didn't show up on my skin color. Also, it just added shimmer to my contour, which I don't really like. But... Yeah, this was a thumbs down for me. I wouldn't recommend it. This AOA Beauty Sponge is bomb. Again, I haven't tried the Beauty Blender, but I'm sure this is probably going to be like a dupe for it because it's super, super soft and it expands very nice and it does what it needs to do and blends out the foundation flawlessly. So that is a thumbs up. The blush palette, very, very pigmented. I absolutely love this. I did want more blushes, so now I have an extra four to add to my collection. So definitely a thumbs up for the blushes. As far as the eyeshadow palette, this, I have mixed feelings just because every single shade in here is shimmers. There isn't no matte color, which means no transition shade. I don't know, maybe if you are people, if you're a person that likes using shimmers for a transition shade then maybe this is for you but I mean the shimmers is really nice and very pigmented but very hard not to go into a different palette to complete an eye look so I don't know it's like iffy with this but I guess it's decent it's decent it's okay I personally like it I give it a thumbs up but again little pain to go into a different palette just to get transition shades this highlighting palette i absolutely love it this is probably going to be like my holy grail makeup item that i own um i absolutely love it the pigment is definitely there and it settles in the skin like flawlessly it looks natural like it feels natural it doesn't feel cakey or anything so I highly, highly, highly recommend this. The foundation, I'm not too big on the consistency. I think the shade is a little bit too dark, but I can make it work. Maybe if I mix it with a lighter foundation that I own. Um, again, I'll probably do like a wear test with this foundation, but for right now, it's holding up pretty nice. It doesn't feel dewy by any means. It doesn't feel matte either. It just feels like my skin. So... I guess I give it a thumbs up for now until the wear test. And the last two things are the lip products. The lip liner, again, not too dry, not, you know, nothing crazy. 
it's not too creamy it glides onto the lips very easily so very easy to work with I actually love the shade it's a nice mauve um, with like a pink kind of undertone so really like that that's a thumbs up and then for the lipstick I absolutely love the shade the product itself is very very creamy and I love me a creamy lip product and it's not too drying on the lips which is also a plus so also recommend this Maybelline lipstick formula is bomb so go and get you one if you don't have one or if you haven't tried it because they are really really good so that is it for this video if you guys like this video drop a thumbs up if you have any questions suggestions anything that i should try for my next video drop it down below in the comment box and if you have not subscribed don't forget to hit the subscribe button before you leave and I'm pretty sure that is all I got. So, hope you guys have a good day and I am out of here. Bye.